What do you do when you want to draw a circle? Well, you use a compass, right? You use a compass to do this. And what do you do if you want to draw an ellipse? Well, you use the Da Vinci ellipse machine. That's what you use. With the Da Vinci ellipse machine, you will be able to draw at least part of a part of an ellipse. Let's see how this machine works. Okay. You have a frame, X and Y axis, the frame will be on X and Y, and you have this kind of metal or wood arm and this hole here. Well, you can maybe slide it around. You can design it somewhere, some way so it slides around. And you put your pencil in here, into this hole here. Now, this whole arm can move, you know, slides, but it remains fixed to these axes, so it can't come off. It has to slide up and down like that. And this point M, the pencil point, is going to draw some kind of curve as you slide up and down. How does that work? How does that work? What does that curve look like? Well, let's see. Uh, in the maximum position, it's going to look like this. And uh, there's my point M. We'll call this A and we'll call this distance B here. And this here is A. This whole thing is going to be U. There, let's put some dimensions on this. This distance here, sorry, V, and this distance U for the x-axis. Maximum height of V will be A plus B. A plus B. And this thing is going to slide down until it lies down like so. It's going to lie down. M is going to go over here. This is A, this is B. And what is the maximum distance along the, uh, the X axis? Well, that's U is A plus B also. So A plus B here, and it's gonna slide down, A plus B there. This, as it slides down the track, it's gonna form some kind of curve like this. Now Da Vinci claims that this curve is an ellipse. Ellipse, is that true? Let's prove it. Let's demonstrate the principle of how this machine works. What is an ellipse? Well, x squared plus y squared equals r squared is a circle. Okay, we have r and r radius. That's a circle. If I divide both sides by r, I have x over r squared plus y over r squared is 1. Equation of a circle. Now let's think about ellipse. Ellipse equation is like this. x squared x over p is all squared plus y over q all squared is equal to 1. And here we end up with ellipse. It has axis or radius P here and long radius Q here, or maybe like this way, P and Q. Now if P, P equals Q equals R, then I get back the circle, you see? Both are equal. So there's your relationship between ellipse and circle. That's how it works. If we can show that point M travels along this curve here, point M, the coordinates of point M are X and Y. And if we can show that X and Y satisfy this type of equation, we just have to find P and Q. If we can show that it satisfies that type of equation, then, then M must be on an ellipse. Now, let's look at a technique. We have this line here, segment AB. This technique is extremely important. We want to divide this segment into a uh, proportion, let's say 1 to 3. Well, we can call this lambda, and this we can call mu, right? 
And we want to divide the inner proportion, let's say lambda 1 mu 3, and where, where is m? How can I calculate m given these proportions? Well, it's like, like so. We have m equals, what do you think? Is, is it lambda a plus mu b or mu a plus lambda b? What do you think? What do you think? Let's try, let's try lambda a plus mu b over lambda plus, plus mu. It's like generalized average or center of mass. Let's see, is this correct? When lambda goes to zero, when lambda goes to zero, then we must have m goes to a. Think about it. When lambda goes to zero, when this proportion goes to zero, m must go to a. So is this true? Lambda goes to zero. Oh no, we end up getting b. So this can't be true. So let's do let's do it a, a different way. Let's try mu a plus lambda b over lambda plus mu. Now what happens? Lambda goes to zero. Look at what happens. Uh, m m becomes lambda goes to zero. M becomes mu a mu a over mu and that's a and when mu goes to zero when mu goes to zero point m should be on top of b is that true m goes to well mu goes to zero so that's zero i get lambda b over lambda and yes it's b so this is the formula i want okay that's the formula i want and if we look at this equation or this machine here this being a and this being b let's say this is point a and this is point b then point m according to our concept is a a plus b b over a plus b you say oh, I, I don't understand just take this and match it with what we have done here okay with this formula and you get this okay a and multiplied by a on the other side just just like we did here with a and then multiplied by lambda by mu sorry multiplied by mu by what's on the other side so same here we end up with this okay great so let's let's take this concept so m is x y and that's equal to a times a what is a what is point a well point a Point A is U0 here. And what's point B? What's point B? It's 0B, right? Okay. A times U, U0 plus B times 0B uh, over A plus B. So we have X is equal to AU over A plus B. And Y is equal to uh, BV over A plus B. Okay, great. Now, let's divide both sides by A. We get X over A is U over A plus B, and Y over B is V over A plus B. Now, haha, let's use some intuition, square both of those things, and let's see what happens. We'll square both of these, so I have X over A, all squared, plus y over b all squared. We square, we square them, we add them together. What do we get? We get u, u squared over a plus b all squared plus b squared over a plus b all squared. And that's equal to u squared plus b squared over a plus b all squared. Now, let's go back to our diagram, our da Vinci machine. u squared plus v squared equals a plus b all squared by Pythagoras' rule. u squared plus v squared is a plus b all squared. Look at that, all squared. Now let's take this knowledge and bring it here. u squared plus v squared, this is a plus b squared over a plus b. And look at this magic. This is equal to one. And so therefore, x over a plus squared plus y over b squared equals 1 and therefore m is on an ellipse. And now 
beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, right, very beautiful. Now, I want you to think about this machine and think about how it works. And I want you to think about possibly designing a machine that is based on this principle, except that it doesn't draw just part of the ellipse, but the entire ellipse, like maybe like this, or maybe this way, I don't know. I've thought about it and I don't have any clear idea about that. That's an open question for you to work on. If you have a design or something to show me, well, send me an email, show it to me. I'd like to see.